Hey church family, my name is Annie Neufeld. I'm the pastor of small groups here at Lake Avenue Church and this is your weekly small groups video. This past weekend we launched a new series for the season of Lent on love and we began with the dynamic duo of Pastor Matthew and Pastor Janine who preached on John 3 verses 16 through 21. In this passage, we see that God um, loves us, that he cannot not love us. Love is at the core of who God is, what God does, how God relates to us. He's not just merciful and kind and compassionate, but he is love and he cannot not love us. And he expressed his love through what he gave, through who he gave, that he gave his one and only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us, to set us free, that love is demonstrated through sacrifice and risk and vulnerability. And if we want to follow God, if we want to follow Jesus, we have to live that same kind of life, a life characterized by sacrifice and risk and vulnerability. We can live this out in a variety of ways. Pastor Janine talked about truth seeking and truth telling that we relentlessly pursue the truth even in unexpected places and we speak the truth, we tell the truth even when it's costly. We can also live this out through the practice of empathy. Pastor Janine talked about empathy and going and being with people even when it's hard. She showed us a video on empathy from Dr. Brene Brown and this week in your small groups, I wanna invite you to check out that video again and to talk about a variety of questions. First, share about a time in your life when you felt like the fox, when you felt like you were in a hole and someone came and found you and they were with you in the midst of your pain. Second, think about a time when you acted like the antelope, giving trite words from afar. Why did those words fall short of God's call to sacrificial love in our lives? Finally, what gospel truth do we see in this video? Church family, our prayer for you this week is that you would experience the God who is with us. The psalmist declares in Psalm 18, the cords of the grave coiled around me, the snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. He parted the heavens and came down. He rescued me because he delighted in me. This week, church family, I pray that you would know this God of rescue and delight. Go in peace.